welcome and welcome to my channel Deanna with Empowering Empaths here. I am offering up a moment, a message. Center yourself with some deep cleansing breaths. These oracle messages will be for February 9th through this whole week. Always a timeless message. It is February 9th as I come to you. We are in the full moon in Leo, sparking the higher heart. Coming to you with the Heal Yourself Reading Oracle by Ina Segal. And I am also going to offer up Chakra Oracle. So center yourself in as I shuffle. Allow your soul to speak to you, whether it be card one, two, or three from this first deck. Again, these are always timeless messages, but I am coming to you on February 9th. <laughs> Just drew this in one of my last readings. Okay, beautiful. If you chose card number one from the Heal Yourself, this is bringing to your awareness, recognizing, validating that you have been through some dark things, some painful things, some things that needed to be released. The Phoenix Rising, card number 32, validating spirit sees you, hears you, you faced, you've been facing your fears, and although it's been painful, right, it is well worth that as you become the Phoenix Rising. I just drew this card the last time, I maybe um, last week or something like that. A lot of people going through that transformation, right, that fire energy. Think about it symbolically. What does fire do? It burns away the old. It causes life, new creation to spark forward. The sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra has been coming up tremendously. Um, synchronicity of that. This is validating that because you have been facing your fears, going through the things that are painful, facing the things that you really didn't want to that could have been easier to ignore, it is creating this spark in you to be like the phoenix rising, rising above those things. They don't define you super beautiful if you chose card number two you chose the card healing this is also validating right that it's painful you look she looks like she's in contemplation that stillness and quiet within you that void within you where you can go into the dark stuff facing because it creates this spark again with the magic in her hands, very symbolic, facing those feelings within you, emotions, um, appear to be very somber, but in the middle of that dark void is the creation energy, the love energy, right? So acknowledge yourself. You're getting acknowledged for the healing that you're doing, or perhaps... Maybe that you have more healing to do. Keep releasing that. Allow that creative, creative spark to be felt in the middle of all that darkness. She's beautiful. If you chose card number three, self-love. Again, this is a newer deck to me. This came up again as well. I just shared an energy update for this week as well. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and listen to that. I brought up that Venus is kind of marching us through this week the love the compassion the intuition the healing of the feminine not only in the male archetype but also in the masculine ar archetype self-love is where it's at filling your own cup first really super beautiful card what else anything else open like a chalice Knowing that it's not selfish to, to, to do those things of random acts of kindness to with yourself first. Self-love. Vulnerability. Intuition. So I'm going to again choose 
a message each. If you chose Phoenix Rising, I'm going to, no, let's do it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and have you take a few centering breaths, thinking about the card that you chose with the Healing Oracle, which was either one, Phoenix Rising, two, Healing, three, Self-Love, anchoring that into your awareness. Okay, and we're gonna choose now, you can choose one, two, three from the Chakra Oracle. Okay, guys, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, guys, this is sweet. So if you chose the Phoenix Rising, you got the card of release. So this to me, this deck in particular is symbolic of neutral gray. That is because this is a spiritual aspect, right? There is no duality there. In order to become this Phoenix Rising, you need to release whatever it is, right? That you're letting go of, whether it be old wounds, whether it be grief, whether it be um, the heal, the release of attachments within you. Allowing that release, that neutrality to face those fears, those wounds from a neutral perspective of spirit. And that's when we can become the phoenix rising in the middle of all that darkness. And that's where the life force energy sparks. So that's a beautiful message. If you chose card two, healing, you chose the card um, impasse. This is the sacral chakra. This is the creation energy where you got full moon in Leo today. Um, we're still in that energy even though the exact point is past us. The imp impasse to me is what root? You're at a crossroads here. You're opening your arms. You're surrendering. What is it that you want to manifest? You've been in touch with your feelings and emotions and doing this healing work that needs to be doing. And that's where that spark, like I said, is the creation and the manifestation. Very symbolic of the sacral chakra. Um, standing on that, standing in your lane, allowing these energies to spark your creative life force energy, right? So whatever that crossroads is that you're at right now, because of the healing work that you've been doing, you have avail available to you whatever it is that you need to, that you would like to manifest to the betterment of your life. Anything else? I love how they both have the darkness in the background of these, right? Facing those dark things that we have come up within us is exactly where I was saying before, where that spark of light, that creative sacral chakra, right? Second chakra, life force energy. You're at this impasse. Take this time and this opportunity to really think about what you want to manifest from a heart-centered space. We have that available to us right now. So if you chose self-love, you chose the root chakra discovery because this is the root chakra, I am coming with this intuitively going, this is telling you it's time for self-love. Keep trusting that intuition, uh, utilizing your biggest gift of compassion for yourself first. You're going to discover a whole new you. This is like the wisdom of your spirit and your soul being illuminated again. We have the moon in this one as well. This is huge because the Leo moon... Um, is that higher heart within us being tapped into that self-love that divine feminine within you whether you're male or not doesn't matter male female that feminine side of you because when you do that and you anchor it in with your root chakra first chakra you can discover a whole new you it's like you have new blossoms blooming when you're taking that spiritual aspect, the wisdom of your soul, listening to your body, anchoring it in, showing the heart here, that higher heart, Leo, full moon, wow, this is cool, um, anchoring it in your body, knowing it's okay from a heart's perspective to love yourself first. In fact, it's a must. That's where we really become in tune with God, Creator, Source, whatever you call it, your own soul, 
and we start walking this and discovering a whole new you it's super beautiful because in that we have new growth this is huge with the manifesting as well because the root chakra and then the sacral chakra completely when you discover that it's all within you with that self-love that feminine nurturing aspect of yourself you discover a whole new you you can go up into the sacral chakra and start creating and manifesting the peace that you deserve i hope you like these three card draws this week if you haven't tuned in to my energy update for february oh let's say 9th through the 14th whatever it's always a timeless message go ahead and go over there and enjoy that i did a lemurian star code reveal if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Again, from last week to this week, I have some new subscribers, so namaste. Thank you so much. For the ones that have been here with me since the beginning of my journey last year on this channel, thank you so much for your support. Always love and appreciate interaction in the comments. If you want to support me, go ahead and give this a like if it resonates. I send this to you with so much love and namaste.